All right, so just a quick video on chasing a pipe within a formal pond. So let's imagine that's the top of the pond. Here's the four sides of the internal pond. Now let's imagine that you have a filter of some description here, and then you need to chase the pipes from the filter to the other end of the pond. So we have two main ways that you can do that. One is that you can just chase a um, slit through the cement which they can cut out of the cement which would be on the base of the aquarium or the pond sorry um, then this can go to a fitting which can go through the side of the pond or potentially over the top and it's actually chased into the concrete you then smooth that concrete over the top so the end result once you fiberglass it is you've got a fitting at one end a fitting at the other end um, and the actual pipe itself has disappeared except where the um, pipe is going to be connecting to the filter and then be connecting to any sort of feature that you may have so the using the bottom and and going into the concrete is it's a very common and very good way of looking at it the other thing you can do if you don't want to etch into the concrete and there may be many reasons why you don't want to do that the other option is you can hide it in the corner, which basically just means our pipe, instead of being placed into a channel at the bottom and then waterproofed over the top, potentially concreted over and then waterproofed over. Um, the other option that we've got, if you don't want to penetrate into the bottom, and this is once again, assuming you've got like a concrete pond, which has not already been um, waterproofed. So this is assuming you've come in after the fact quite often this is common for something like a planter box then what you can actually do is you could etch the or, or put the pipe into the actual corner so let's say you want to go through this wall or you want to connect a point in from here all we do is run our pipe into the corner here then wherever we want the outlet to be we can put a fitting up like that we can even run it up the corner if we wish. Then it's just a matter of, um, like, a, let's imagine this is the corner, and let's imagine that's the pipe. Then you can go and concrete across like that before waterproofing. So then once this particular job's finished, instead of visually the pond having a sharp corner, it may just be waterproofed like this so the bottom of the pond appears like that um, you can decide whether to do both sides or whether to do just one side so you can hide pipes that way therefore a fitting is going to come out like this or you can place that in any way shape or form you want otherwise you can have any combination because you can have it like this on one side where you're hiding the pipe and just normal on the other side. But um, there, there are many options of converting something like a planter box into a pond and offering the type of water flow that you require just by contacting your friendly local concrete guy and get him to work with your plumber and just um, put a, as much pre-thought into it as possible because when you're doing a feature like this, it's probably going to be um, something in the, your, the front of your mind for the whole time that you ever live in this house. And the way you do it will probably plague or haunt any future owners of your house. So if you just try to put as much thought into how the plumbing and filtration is going to be run and just really aim to do it the first time, just do it right the first time. Because if it's really going to piss you off having pipes running along the bottom of your pond, then there are certainly things that you can do in order to um, to make it more visually uh, pleasing for you. So my advice is do it right the first time, even if that's going to take a little bit more effort or a little bit more money.